Kasuri Fundo is one of those uh, weapons that can be hidden that most people can't see that you can put away really quickly and hide. This one is uh, kind of a modified one. It has a ring on one end and it has the weight on the other end. Traditional ninjutsu ones had weights on both ends, but this one is a different style that some of the police officers were using in Japan and they would hook it on this third finger down. And so it's interesting how they would do hits and strikes with this weapon. But we're gonna show some different ways to parry and do takedowns with it today with a person. One of the ways that you would take somebody down with, which I'm gonna be very careful because this is an actual real metal one, is as Brandon would come in, I would throw that right into his face and actually cause impact into the bone. I threw it into his chest because I care about Brandon and I don't want him to get hurt. But um, in real life, as you're stepping away, you think about throwing this right into the person's face. As that punch is thrown and I throw it into his face, it might miss and go over that arm, which then I can collect with the same side hand or step in and try to grab with the other hand. It wasn't something really accurate and I didn't have to be in a precise place with this because of it being a chain it has some different properties to it where it pinches and really grabs on tight and has a sawing motion that can go right grab onto ligaments and tendons easily so if I could just grab through on that I could just yank him down onto the ground with some type of a trip and then just alone pulling this up through and ripping across the arm could be enough to have him stop his attack but if not we just come in and hit and that would be of course to hard parts like his elbow possibly his knee maybe his face different things like that well, this is one thing to think about for that i'm hidden up to this point he doesn't even know i have this in my hands and he starts off and then i throw it right past him here i could grab this in and take him down in many different ways here I can also use this to pull one hand up to the other part of the hand and just brace that against it and then start to pull on this. As you can see with Brandon here, it starts to cause a lot of pain because I'm at that point where now it's just constricting and tightening. And that can be enough. I can also let go of that arm that I caught and just scoop down and take his neck and start to go in different ways with this. And I could use this as a cutting motion back and forth too. And that can be really painful as well. Another really interesting one is I could have my hands close together where I actually have the end of the kasuri in the other hand. And as this punch comes in, I raise my hands and drop down with my body weight on here, which pulls his head forward. And then I can put a choke on here and get him into some really bad situations. We could drop them down and then I've got an amazing choke going on as well. We'll take that out and around. One of the things with that one, which I find really awesome, is sometimes people will get that other hand up in front of their uh, choke when I pulled him down here and he has that hand in there. It doesn't matter because I can cut right through that side of his hand with a real chain as well. And it just sits inside of there and I just choke him with his own hand right against his neck as well and it starts to come on really quickly. So these are a few different ways to think about using this flexible weapon and hiding it in plain sight without anybody even knowing it's there and being able to come out and strike with it in a straight on position or having it hidden in both hands and using it as a grappling device to start to do chokes. It's easy for you to slip off your belt if you know you're gonna have to have a confrontation and make this happen as well. But it could happen during the middle of, you could be down and on the ground and something's happening and you're reaching for whatever you can and you might just have that belt and be able to get it up and around and start to use it. So we like to start in our school with just by using rope kasaris and learning different ways of moving in and choking. And so try this out with your training partners, the Kasuri Fundo, different ways of moving with it, angles, distancing, timing.